President Jones? I'm Amanda, a concerned alumna who was in a sorority during my years at Trinity. Can I have a moment of your time please? Go ahead Kappa One. I'm not Kappa One, sir. My name is Amanda. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead Kappa One. I'll ignore that. I'm here because I'm concerned about the new social policy that jeopardizes the future of fraternities and sororities. I just saw the data you never shared with us. It shows we are model citizens. We are literally the glue of Trinity College. As undergraduates, we were happier, more involved, and more connected to the school. And later in life, we stay connected to Trinity, are more successful and even more generous to the college. What is your problem with us? Didn't you see the freaking data? We showed your GPA was lower sophomore year by 0.1. I don't believe that's accurate, Mr. President. You admit you don't know the full Greek roster, so it's impossible for anyone to establish an average for Greeks or non-Greeks. And besides, what does any of this have to do with making us go co-ed? Frankly, your chart is baloney. I wouldn't use it to line my bird cage. Listen, I don't have time for your facts. What I'm interested in is nurturing a culture of excellence. Okay, let's talk excellence. You think 0.1 is cause for alarm, so let's take a look at the schools standing under your watch. From 2006 to 2010, we went from number 88 to number 171 in the Washington Monthly. In Forbes and Kiplinger from 2008 to 2010, we slid from number 58 to number 96. In US News, we plummeted from number 22 to number 38 from the year 2004 to today. From the moment you took office in 2004, it's been an unmitigated disaster. Unmita. What? Frankly it's your record that should be in question here and not ours. It's been one bad decision after another, including your choice to ignore key data points you had in your possession all along. Facts like Greeks tend to major in political science and economics. Those majors generally have a lower GPA than arts majors. You knew this, but you chose to manufacture a razor-thin difference in GPA and attribute it to fraternities and sororities. So how did you get your research? Watching Animal House? I can't hear you, I can't hear you. You also neglected to mention a survey where 92% of the female undergraduates said major changes were needed in security. In a social media world, this kind of feedback has a profound effect on whether or not Trinity gets female applicants. You and I both know that. But for some reason, you think denying women the freedom to associate is going to attract women. Since when is revoking constitutional rights attractive to women? Listen. This is a completely unnecessary fight. We are not arguing for the status quo. Keep the proposed policy for theme houses and GPA minimums, but drop the co-ed mandate and gender parity nonsense. Let us retain selectivity in a civilized pledge process. We should be able to choose our own friends. You and I know the new rules were created knowing we could never satisfy them. Please. I am not an idiot. Kappa 1, I... Never said you were an idiot. Kappa... 1. As you said in the Trinity for Life video, we are loyal. Fiercely. Loyal. But please know that we are not loyal to you. We are fiercely loyal to the institution. And we are fiercely loyal to what we know to be the very best of Trinity. Your data overwhelmingly shows that Greeks are Trinity's greatest supporters. Why do you think that is? It's Trinity for Life for us. But the way things are going it's more likely to be offended for life. It's your call, Mr. President. 